Sure, whānau, Uncle AZ. We back with those mean powers I was showing you earlier. Powers. Now I've just smashed those with a fork. You know, that's why they look cut up. I've stabbed them up with a fork just to help tenderize them. And that's because I got them straight out the shell while they were alive. If you take them out the shell while they're alive, they're going to be a lot tougher than if you let it die slowly. I've seen some people put it in water for overnight. I reckon that just takes the flavor. I've seen people boil it in a pot. I don't like that idea either. Um, I put mine in a freezer till they're just about frozen, but they're dead, but they're not frozen. Then pull them out and use them. But yeah, these ones I grab live, so they're going to be a little bit tougher than the average. And I've just got the smeg knife out, the big boy, and I'm just cutting them into strips about, I don't know, quarter an inch, just over quarter an inch um, thick. I don't know. Yeah, about quarter an inch thick, finally. So I'm just cutting them with my flash knife. This is actually easy work, light work for this knife. Light work. I did those other ones before so this video wouldn't take too long. And these powers were kindly provided from my brother Adrian, brother Adrian McClutchy, top man. Yeah. So I'll slice those into, yeah, about quarter inch. Just over maybe if you want to. Depends how um, tender this pile is going to be. If they were smaller piles, you can afford to make these strips a bit thinner if you wanted to. Make them go around a bit more. Oh, a bit thicker, I mean, sorry. You can make them thicker if they were um, smaller piles. They'll be a bit more tender. This knife is, you know... Awesome fan straight off. This knife is killer. I've got some olive oil heating on the back on the element. This is the last last strip I'm gonna do. There we go. Yeah. Then I've got about two eggs in this um bowl over here, fam. Two eggs just whisked together, and I'm gonna um chuck my powers in there. And then I'm going to coat them with this bread crumbs. I did. I just dried out some bread, put it in the old um, oven on a low heat for a good 10, 20 minutes. And to those bread crumbs, I'm going to add about two teaspoons of garlic powder. About a teaspoon of lemon pepper. The lemon pepper will help everything. Seafood goes good with lemons. Eh? Lemons is nice. So I'm going to add a decent teaspoon of lemon pepper to it. I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of this rosemary. I just like rosemary. I don't even know if it's meant to go with seafood dishes. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of this onion. Salt, if I can get it to go. Yeah. And then I'm going to add about a teaspoon of these chives. These are dried up chives. So that's what my mix kind of looks like. And I want to coat coat my um, power in that. So it's not too strong, fans. The flavors ain't too strong in there. There's more breadcrumbs than anything else. So it's not a real strong mix because I still want to taste my power through that. But yep. So I'm just coating my um, power in my egg mix. And then putting it straight into that flour mix. And getting a coat on. So I'll do some of those. Make sure you cover them in the egg. The egg's going to be what it sticks to. And straight into your flour. Drip a bit of the excess off. Fingers. A bit of a shake around. See, and it's not a heavy coating, it's giving them fans, it's, it's not a heavy coat. It's actually quite light. Those breadcrumbs are really fine. And that's, that's a coated piece. So, yep. Yeah. Fish those out. Yeah, got them all out. And with the next, and just keep repeating that. I'll come back once I've done that. 
And that's what they look like crumbed fems. That's coated it in the crumb. Now I'm going to take them over and fry them in um, olive oil and butter mix. I'm going to fry them. I've got quite a lot of oil in mine. You don't have to use much just to get them golden brown. See you at the pan. All right, fams, we're back at the oven. I've got my um, fat heated up. That's got olive oil and some butter in there. And I'm just going to fry these straight up till I get a golden covering on them. Be careful, always lay away from yourself. These will cook really quick too, won't take long. Two whanau, so just pulling off my last batch now. backfire just as I went to do that. Oh yeah. Nice and golden brown fans. The parlors themselves don't take long to cook. And because you gave them a good um sticking with the fork they tend to I've already had a sample of the ones I've already done. And they're tasting really good. Stop, check them out. That's what they look like. Yeah. Give them a fry. I'll show you what they look like with a salad. And that's the final result, Fanu. East side up, check it out. Yeah, Uncle Wazy's um power slices, eh? Crumbed. Yeah, check it out. Have a go for yourself and my um cool airs. Platter is made by Charles Rutene, aka the bro from um, Unique Resin, um, Unique Create Resin Creations. Gee, I better get that right. But gee, give that recipe a will. East East.